Hello and welcome to this series. This is a collection of videos covering Maligno, an open source penetration testing tool written in Python, which allows you to generate and distribute Metasploit payloads through a network. Let me introduce myself. My name is Juan Welfo, and I work as a CEO and IT security consultant at Encrypto in Norway. My background is computer engineering, and I also have different certifications in networking, software development, and IT security. I also work as an IT security instructor, and I do sometimes vulnerability research. And as you can see, I am the creator of Maligno. You can contact me by email or if you want on Twitter. And please feel free to send your feedback because it's really appreciated. Before we start, please note that the materials shown in this video series are for educational purposes only and you should use it at your own risk. Also, any of the trademarks mentioned in the series are property of their respective owners. So, what is Maligno? Maligno is an open source tool written in Python which allows you to generate and distribute Metasploit payloads over a network. The payload generation is done by MSF Venom and then the distribution goes over HTTP or HTTPS. So this is a kind of tool which comes handy if you do penetration testing or uh, red, red team engagements. We will see in this series different scenarios covering these topics. And since Maligno's communications are really flexible, it allows you to uh, simulate malware or traffic patterns, which may be useful if you do adversary replication or if you want to uh, train people. So there are many possibilities, and in this video series, I will try to show you different scenarios and different cases covering all of these disciplines. Maligno has two different components. We have a server and a client, and the communication between these two happen over HTTP or HTTPS. The main features of the server is, first of all, Maligno relies on Metasploit, so uh, when it comes to uh, payload generation and also um, controlling the, the payloads, it's Metasploit, which is uh, running under the hood. At the same time, all communications which happen over HTTP and HTTPS are always AES encrypted and encoded either with Base64, hexadecimal or uh, binary encoding. So this is up to you or how you want to configure, of course, the, the communications. As I mentioned before, since uh, we have really flexible communication possibilities here between the server and the client, we can simulate um, malware behavior or uh, specific communication patterns. The server supports different payloads, meaning that you can configure more than one payload and then different clients could connect to Maligno and then request these different payloads that you have already configured. Also, if you want to distribute your uh, infrastructure while, uh, while performing penetration testing or uh, red teaming, for example, uh, you could use different servers, for example, one running Maligno and another one, a different one, uh, running Metasploit. So the payloads would go served from Maligno to the client and then the client would then uh, connect back to your Metasploit server. If you want to send all your communications through one single server, Maligno can start automatically as SOX 4A proxy. This is in fact a Metasploit auxiliary module which gets uh, started automatically. And this will give you the possibility to uh, send all your traffic through the Maligno server and from there reach your um, Metasploit server waiting for the um, client connection. This would be useful, for example, if you use a Meterpreter over HTTPS with proxy support. Maligno supports scope definition, and this will allow you to define 
specific IP addresses, network segments, or just any address to which Malikno will serve the payloads. Requests which do not come from the scope defined on the tool will actually be redirected to a last resort uh, URL. In this way, you can ensure that you don't serve the payload to a host which is not under scope. The client included in Maligno is an extended version of David Kennedy's Spy Injector. It supports Windows, Linux, and OS X. Maligno already has everything you need to generate specific clients for specific payloads in an automated fashion, and at the same time it comes with an obfuscator that will scramble the code when generated. The client also comes with some basic logic which uh, will allow you to bypass uh, sandboxes or uh, AV engines and also it supports different modes of operation meaning that you can get into a stealthy mode or in a more get caught mode meaning that you can request the same payload many different times and in this way replay the patterns through a network. So this could be useful if you are teaching people or network analysts. The software that we are going to use during this uh, video series is Maligno, which is uh, open source and you can get it from encrypto.no slash tools. When it comes to the attacker machines, we will run Kali Linux and finally we will use both uh, Windows and Linux uh, victim machines so uh, we actually configure different payloads and we will see how they work. The video series will try to cover different topics. We will see how to install the tool, how to configure the server and the client, how the network com communications happen live the differences and you know what you see in the network. We will see different scenarios including single server where you run Maligno and Metasploit on one server or multiple server scenarios having Maligno in one place and then Metasploit running in another. The series will also cover malware simulation and how to use Maligno in other static replication engagements. I will try to show you how to reproduce different indicators, especially on the network, and hopefully in upcoming versions of Maligno, new capabilities and new features regarding this area will be included. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I will try to sum up all the questions and then answer them in a specific Q&A session. And from there, maybe other topics will be covered according to your needs. Well, I think we are all set and ready to start. I really hope that you will enjoy the series and please send your feedback. Thanks for watching.